Kelsey. And Kelsey, could there be video evidence? Marie, tonight investigators are hoping that some of the cameras that are within this shopping complex may have captured a glimpse of something suspicious. Firefighters are calling this arson, but the who, how, and why still a mystery tonight. My mom came in around like 5 o'clock and she was like, the office is on fire. Ricardo Boeing Lamelli was at home sleeping when he got a wake up call about his aunt's law firm he never expected. I thought everything was burning down. I thought all our documents, uh, legal documents were gone. It turns out it was the dental office next door. This is what firefighters saw as they pulled up early Thursday morning in this strip mall on the northwest side of town. They have reason to believe that it was an intentionally set fire. Tim Szymanski with Las Vegas Fire and Rescue says investigators are interviewing people and looking at security video. I've heard that they had a key and they entered through the door and that there was three people, three men, and that they poured gasoline. Szymanski couldn't confirm that, but did say even if the fire was arson, proving who did it can be difficult. You have to show the motive. You have to show what happened. You have to have the evidence, um, which is all extremely hard. The dental office flooded by overhead sprinklers. It's an indication that you had a really hot fire really quick, maybe like a flash fire. Had it not had a sprinkler system in it, like many strip malls don't, it probably would have been burning through the roof before somebody would have discovered it. We probably would have lost a third of this uh, complex right here. As for Ricardo, his aunt's law firm escaped major damage. We got to fix the door. We got to wait till the fumes get out for our health. As crews work to clean up, his mission is to get back to work. So we needed to cancel all the appointments we had for today. And Szymanski told me 99% of the time in fires just like this one, they are able to figure out what happened. A person is arrested and goes to prison. Reporting live tonight near Tanea and the 95, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. All right, Kelsey, thank you.